good day to you all. I'm Pashpo Proudfeet, and this is an unexpected vidcast. At an unexpected vidcast, are proud to be part of the Lotro Players website. Can I give a big thanks to Jim for his donation? Hobbity hugs. This week, four contestants battle it out over a hot oven for the prize title of Supreme Master Chef by satisfying to Rode and Wallace's taste buds. We want to see that you have a good palate and you can serve up high quality cuisine. You have two minutes. Treat us. Spoil us. Cooking doesn't get any tougher than this. Chumley is a local farmhand looking to prove that there is more to him than picking potatoes. Belimpo spends much of his time writing poems or patrolling Waymeet as a bounder. Will Tarode and Wallace see there is much more to this hobbit? Oleander Rose is a keen collector of jewels and jewellery, but is here to show that her talents also shine in the kitchen. Waddle is known for his occasional mishaps and drunken misdemeanours. He is keen to show to Rode and Wallace that he does have some skill. So, Chumley, what have you cooked for us today? Chumley has cooked an apple pie. Well, Chumley, it looks like a dream, but tastes like a complete mess. I have to disagree, Rode. It's a taste explosion. It's like an apple was just picked you up by the hobbit toes and given you a big upside down kiss. Not bad, Chumley. Not bad at all. Belimpo has made a coney pie with peas. I caught the conies myself. Now, I'm not going to criticise this until I actually stick it in my mouth. I'm sorry to say, this is the bland leading the bland. That's an ugly plate of food, Belimpo. There's too much going on on that plate. Not impressed, I'm afraid. Oleander Rose has made a fish pie. That fish is perfectly cooked. This delivers on every single level. I agree. I just want to take a running jump into it. It's really got my juices going. Waddle has made nothing. Oh, I, I couldn't make up my mind. And then I ran out of time. You could have made a pie, Waddle. Could have made a pie. And it could have been a tasty one if only you had tried. All it really needed was a filling inside. A filling inside. You could have gone to apple doors and gone and got them filthy claws of picking apples from the tree and served them for him and me. All crunchy and good to eat. I like my pudding sweet. It puts hairs on your hobbit feet. You could have gone and won. You could have made a pie, Waddle. Could have made a pie. And it could have been a tasty one if only you had tried. All it really needed was a filling inside. A filling inside. Fishing would be easy and a fish pie would have pleased me. Be it catfish or a dace, I'd have gone and filled my face. Such a savoury dish would have been fine. But knowing you as a friend of mine, you'd have probably tumbled into the brandy wine. But you could have gone and won. You could have made a pie, Waddle, could have made a pie. And it could have been a tasty one if only you had tried. All it really needed was a filling inside. A filling 
inside. I may sound a little moany, but how about a coney? There are plenty running round, or by auction can be found. It would be a funny sight to see you running round day and night, as the conies all take flight, but you could have gone and won. You could have made a pie, Waddle, could have made a pie, and it could have been a tasty one if only you had tried. All it really needed was a filling inside, a filling inside. Oh, by the way, Ollie and a Rose one.